Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about an article that is almost seven years old. So seven years ago, this was still a very big deal. Now, the video will be probably titled, I'm quitting my job to play Magic the Gathering full time. And it is a dream, it is a hoax, I guess, is the best way I can say it, that Wizard of the Coast sells younger people. They sell them the belief that you can, you too can be like Tularian Community College, you too can be like Wedge, you too can be like famous Magic player XYZ, and it is a myth. Uh, it is a myth because the percentage of people who make it on the scene is this, probably the same as a high school basketball player trying to make it to the NBA or a college basketball player trying to make it to NBA. The only problem is there's no reward. There's absolutely no reward. If you make it to an NBA, I think the minimal contract is $300,000 a year, which is pretty good. That's a, a salary, a guaranteed salary. Then there's benefits and things of that nature. And Magic, I don't think anyone makes 300000 Maybe outside of price support. There's no stable income. So here's an article that I really wanted to bring to your attention. Uh, Todd Anderson is a pro. He, play, he wrote and played for Star City Games. He goes ahead. He goes to work. Uh, he finds that he's scheduled for 12 p.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday 1 p.m. to 9 p.m., Sunday 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. I have nothing but respect to people who have second and even third jobs to make payments, to save money. Clearly, they're not lazy, and clearly, I mean, people don't want to deliver pizza. People don't want to. Uh, one of my favorite employees, he's no longer with us. Uh, he's off doing great things. Yeah, I do talk about her a lot because, again, we don't have that many employees. Uh, this is the most successful one. Uh, Amy, she went to college for until she was 27. Uh, free associate degrees, fine arts, graphic design, and I'm, I'm missing one. Fine arts, graphic design, oh, and pre-med. She was pre-med initially. She lived at her parents' home. She worked our job. She delivered pizzas at nighttime. And when I found out this out, I was like, just work more hours and we'll go view OT. Get better at what you're doing. And she really dedicated, she really dedicated herself to getting better at her craft, which at this point was a social media specialist. But then she became an SEO. I mean, she was climbing up the ladder very, very aggressively because she spent so much time at work. It's, there's no shame in delivering pizzas. There's no shame in working in Walmart. When I had to pay off my student loans, I used to tutor. And I was only being paid $35 an hour, which might seem like a lot to you, but realize that the travel time is pretty horrendous, right? To get there and back, it might take two hours. So it's really about $10 an hour. Plus, you have to, you have to calculate the expenses, um, including... Um, not just your time, but the car, the gas, the car, maintenance, and things of that nature. So um, he slams the bathroom door behind me, slumped in the shower. He turned on the cold water for only a few seconds. And then his wife, his wife appears and they have a talk. And the talk is, should he be a professional magic player? Should he not deliver pizzas? Now, I think people are... Uh, many people my age, they tend to be coddled. I don't want to say coddled, but I guess that would be the best term for it, where they live in this non-reality. Um, for the majority of Americans, you're not going to rely on other Americans for donations as your main source of income. The only real... I mean, if that's your main source of income, I would be very, very scared. I would be scared. Because you don't know when that fountain is going to stop. Now, if you make videos begging and begging for money and then this disaster happens, eventually enough disasters happen and your core demographic is so tapped out. Even if they wanted to help you, they've already donated a month ago or two months ago. 
So uh, back to back to this article. It was the first time I realized that wow, you know, people have fed into this delusion where they f a feel like they're better than the other people delivering pizza. You have no idea who those other people are, and what they what they're they need money for, and b somehow there is a very a large subset of magic players who believe that they can make the majority of their income in this case being a pro magic player and or being a content creator nowadays that's fascinating i think as a supplemental income for your hobby magic is fine but a lot of you will mention tolarian and wedge and let me address those two outliers because they are outliers uh, outlier one Tolarian, he was a community college professor, um, a job that is, he would probably describe very similar to being a pizza delivery person. Uh, he wasn't tenure, and I don't think he was trying to get tenure. Um, he would, he would make videos and complaining about his job on YouTube. And that is not something any employer really would want to see. Um, they're, they're not going to be like, oh, great, this guy is talking about us, and now he has a big audience. If he wanted to go back into the field, it would be very difficult um, because he wasn't very high ranked to begin with. He wasn't a college professor at NYU, a full tenured, or he wasn't a well-known professor with many books and articles and all the things that you want to build up to eventually get tenure, to eventually move to a, a public university, if that is your goal. So he left um, a job that, for all intents and purposes, wasn't a great job to start YouTube. And after leaving to start YouTube, he it comes to realization that he can make more money from donations than he ever could make uh, from teaching school. However, there's no health insurance, there's no 401k, there's no potential to really grow. Like I'm saying, growing your donations in a game that is declining, uh, I, this is another topic, but Magic the Gathering, talk to young people. What do they like? They like Minecraft, Fortnite. How many young people are streaming Minecraft right now compared to how many young people are streaming Magic the Gathering? It's night and day. The younger generation, I don't think, is going to play physical Magic. Now, it's not just my opinion. Wizard Coast knows this too. Why do you feel like they made such a big push for Magic Arena if they felt like the cardboard, the physical cardboard would be the way people would play? 20 years from now, can anyone imagine us playing this game with physical cardboard when it's so easy to pick up a game online? Uh, people are becoming less and less social. That's just the uh, nature of the beast. Um, you know, social media, online, local game stores are dying. Uh, they are, and they are the lifeline. I don't know why Wizard Coast doesn't help them, but that's a different topic. So you have um, some people, uh, Wedge, um, Wedge went to college, he lives at home, he's now married to someone who is from London, so a, so someone who, I don't know what her visa status is or marriage status, but it could be that she couldn't work for a long period of time. And he has health issues, he has you know, not made a magic video for some time. I think the last video he made was about mental depression. And yeah, I mean, I'll put it this way. People vlog all the time, right? If you're going to GP Vegas, why didn't you log GP Vegas? I think it would be, uh, given what had happened, it would, it would be a viral vlog because who has seen a vlog like that before? Like, even outside Magic, it's an interesting vlog. So, you have people who really just, you know, it's, I guess it's a cautionary tale 
That is exactly what I would say. It's a cautionary tale that if you give and give and give to magic, it won't give anything back. It will only take and take and take. There are very few people in magic who can make a living from this, and there will be only fewer people. If you enjoy this hobby and you spend money and you have a good time with your friends, do that. That makes perfect sense to me. But if you expect to make a living and you're going to quit your job delivering pizzas or working at Walmart or Hart, there's no shame in that. Like I think a lot of people think they're too good to do that. I'm not too good to do that. Like if I really needed money and that was one of the options, I would think it over and I probably would do it. Not Walmart, but probably Target. Um, I think it's just such a odd scenario where people look these are entry-level jobs they're not meant for you to work 25 35 years at they're meant for you to get your feet get yourself together save a little bit of money start applying for other jobs in the meantime that's one of my core philosophies i don't care what you what you're doing right now but i would like for my employees i would like you have a plan i won't i'd like you have a plan if you want to move away from your parents that you will be financially stable that you can learn a skill set in six months that you can get better at every single month afterwards and we'll commit and we'll invest into you because um, a lot of times you have to be realistic with these individuals, uh, these uh, interviewees. We just interviewed um, someone recently, and a lot of people are not, uh, they don't have a realistic expectation of how much they're going to make, how hard they're going to work. They feel like they deserve a job. No one deserves a job. I don't deserve a job. You have to work hard and earn that job. So I think the culture of magic is very, it's a reverse of reality. It is actually the opposite. Yeah, it's the reverse uh, where you have people who are teaching younger kids that, hey, you don't need to work hard. Just make some YouTube content. You're make it. Don't worry about it. I made it. You can make it. Just ask for donations. Well, the ecosystem, you can only have so many takers. Uh, you can only have so many people donating. $80,000 went out of the ecosystem. That $80,000 can be what could have gone to other charities. It could have gone to Magic Collections. It could have gone to the Secondary Market. It could have gone to Wizard of the Coast. But that amount is now gone. The next time this happens to XYZ Celebrity, there's going to be less money into that ecosystem because it's already gone. Anyway, bye guys.